Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Erica and this is my first video and I'm coming to you with a knitting podcast today. I started knitting back in February of 2022 and not too long after I discovered all the knitting podcasts on YouTube and fell in love because one, I've always loved watching YouTube but then also I don't have anyone that knits in my personal life so the knitting podcasts were like a perfect way to feel like I'm hanging out with my friends while I'm knitting while watching their videos. So I'm hoping to do the same here and enjoy talking about knitting with all of you and maybe get some more inspiration for patterns, designers, yarn from your comments. So today I want to go over what I recently finished, what I'm currently working on, and then I don't have any yarn purchases at the moment. I am on a yarn buying ban until the fall. I have a couple patterns that I'm waiting to purchase yarn for to knit in the fall, so I'll show you those patterns in a little bit. But yeah, let's get into what I recently finished. Oh, but wait, first, what I am wearing right now. So this is the Eye for an Eyelet Sweater by Kara's Knit Ing on Instagram. And I love the eyelet detail and I really love how big the sleeves are. I feel like it's so fun how big she designed the sleeves to be. And then this yarn I think is the Hobby Kid Silk. I remember I loved the yarn that she knit her sample in, but I couldn't get it. I don't remember if it was like limited edition or what, but I couldn't get the exact yarn she used, so I tried to match the color as best I could online. But yeah, my favorite color is green, so this is a good sweater for me, and I love all the eyelet detail. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And then the first thing I have recently finished is a sweater, and this is the It's Not a Sweatshirt from Knitting for Olive, and I knit it in Knitting for Olive. So I love the double double folded collar, I think it's what it's called, where you knit it extra long and then fold it over and knit them together. That's my first time doing it. I had to redo it like three times, I want to say, which I'm really happy I didn't give up. I did have to take a break after like the second time of redoing it and it not working. I took like a month off before I tried again. Then I finally got it and I'm really happy I didn't give up because it's so cute and cozy and oversized and it's going to be perfect when it starts getting cold again. Um, this also reminds me of a sweater I used to own. So I thrifted an H&M sweater a long time ago and I wore that thing until it had holes in it and I had to get rid of it and it looks so similar to this raglan style with the thick collar. So I'm really excited that I have my old sweater again kind of. So I knit this in the yarn that the pattern used, same colors. Um, and it is knitting for all of two strands held together. So they're soft silk mohair and they're merino and they're both in the color pearl gray. So pearl gray, pearl gray held together. And yeah, I use these to knit it. I have leftover. I'm always afraid I'm going to not have enough yarn in the like dye lot and then I won't be able to match it. So I tend to always have yarn left over because I over buy. Let me know if you do the same or if you're better at yarn chicken than I am. The next thing I have finished is a pair of socks. I knit these for my wife for her birthday and I'm obsessed with them. Now I want to make a pair for myself. I'm trying to decide if I'll do the same exact colors for myself or maybe pink. Pink strawberries could be cute. But these are the, I think they're called the berry special sock pattern from Stone Knits on Instagram. And for my birthday this year, I got her book, which I have right here, the Charming Colorwork Socks book, which by the way, I wanna make the ones on the cover, the tulips. But I thought the strawberries were in this book and they're not, so then I had to buy the strawberry pattern separate, but it's okay, cause it's worth it. I wanna make them for myself too. And this was my first time ever doing color work and I really enjoyed it. I have knit a lace chart before and followed a chart that way, but this was my first color work chart and I enjoyed the color work better than the lace chart because the lace it's like hard to remember, at least for me, which symbol means what, like what you're supposed to do, but I liked how the 
color chart it just corresponds with the color you need to knit so there was less like me going back and trying to remember each symbol or you know whatnot but yeah I love these and I want to make them again for myself I'm seriously obsessed but yeah those are the only two things I've recently finished and now we can go over what I'm currently working on. I'm working on three different patterns right now and I've noticed that three-ish is like the max I can like switch between at once. I've done four at a time before and it's just too much for my brain to keep track of. So um, the first one is another pair of socks, also color work. So I follow um, Anna apt knits on instagram and on youtube she has a knitting podcast and she found a sock pattern for sport weight socks and it has a gingham print but she modified it to make it with fingering weight yarn so i kind of used her stitch count for that and i am now making a pair of gingham socks in green favorite color once again um, and so I'm using a Senescar and Sisu in two colors. Let me see. Moss green and dusty light green. And I love these two greens together. They look so good. And I'm really enjoying making this chart, or I'm really enjoying making these socks. And the chart's super easy to memorize, so I don't have to keep looking at my phone. I think one day I want to try to print a pattern like that, but I usually just look on my phone. And then I feel like I'm on my phone too much. I don't know. Let me know if you print yours or do you just read them on like an iPad or on your phone, computer. What is it? But yeah, loving these. Super fun. This is my first sock, so I got to keep going so I get the other one too soon. And then I can wear them once it cools down. The next thing I'm working on is also a pair of socks. So these are like a basic vanilla sock but in a fun yarn. Um, they are with this self striping yarn. These are actually for my mom. She picked out this yarn and asked me to knit her a pair of socks. So that is what I'm doing. They're with the Zauer, what is it? Zauber Ball Crazy yarn in the color 2334. Um, it's super fun knitting with the self striping yarn because you know, like, seeing the colors change you never know what color you're gonna get next super fun i'm almost done with the toe like it's getting so close um i don't know about you but whenever i finish one sock my rule is i have to cast the next one on immediately so i don't get second sock syndrome and then never finish the second one but i'm almost done with these but i'm kind of procrastinating because i'm not ready to re to cast on the next one yet so kind of waiting to finish this one until I have the, you know, patience to cast on the second sock. But this ball of yarn is so fun. So many colors, you don't know what's coming next, but I'm having a great time making it and I can't wait to send them to my mom. The last thing I'm working on is a sweater. And I told myself the gray sweater would be the last one I made for the summer, but I haven't found any summer knits I necessarily really want to make so I'm just going to work on sweaters until it's way too hot and I got to switch to something else and when that happens I already have a plan accessories so it's gonna be socks mittens hats bag anything small to where I can use it once it gets cold but then I won't be sweating while I'm working on it you know with a giant sweater sitting in my lap and that's way too hot for the summer but yeah so I'm working on a sweater it is by Wool and Beyond on Instagram. I've knit one of her other patterns, the Lonely Leftovers Vest, and I really liked it, so I thought I would give another pattern a try. This is the Thin Sweater by her, and I am knitting it in Drops Flora Dark Gray. This, this dark gray color. <laughs> it's called Dark Gray as well, but I'm really liking knitting with this, and it's just... Still, I'm still working on the yoke and then in a bit I'll split for sleeves. It is knit top down and I love this little X detail at the top of the yoke. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, you can kind of see it. 
So it has a cute little X detail right there and then it's just really simple otherwise. And I originally bought this yarn to knit the Pearl Soho Half Half Triangles Wrap because a lot of people I follow on Instagram and on their knitting podcast are making it, which is making me want to. But then after a bit, I realized I probably wouldn't wear it. So I decided to use it for the sweater. And I love that it's like the same color that she used for her sample. I think she's using the knitting for all of Merino, but I'm loving how it looks with the drops flora so far. And now that I've pointed out that I'm trying to match the sample color, I'm noticing I do that a lot. <laughs> um, I did it with this and then this was the sample, the same exact yarn, and then this is the same color. I think I have a hard time visualizing the samples in other colors. Sometimes I look on Ravelry and see what other colors people choose, but I tend, what I'm seeing, I tend to go for whatever the sample was knitted. And that holds true for something I'm gonna make in a bit. So I don't have any yarn purchases like I mentioned, but I'm going to buy yarn in the fall to knit a couple projects. So the first one is from the Senescarn Soft for Women pattern book, pattern book, and it's called the Guernsey Genzer. I know Petite Knit has one similar to this, to this um, sweater pattern and with all the different cables. I've never knit something with cables, so I'm excited to try. And this is with Double Sunday and their thin silk mohair. I think I will just knit it in double Sunday. I'm realizing I don't love for every single sweater that I make to also have mohair. And they, it is called the Guernsey Genzer and it is knit in the color putty and that was their sample. And what do you know? I'm gonna knit mine in the color putty. <laughs> I guess I just really love to copy the samples exactly, but yeah. So that is the first thing I'm waiting to buy yarn for, so I'm on a yarn band until then. And then the other thing, it comes from the Charming Colorwork Sock book from Stone Knits on Instagram. And I can't wait to knit this in the fall. They're these fun Halloween socks. So growing up, I my mom would take me to Target or Old Navy and I'd always get some Halloween socks because that's my favorite holiday and the time of year and I would get a pair every year and I still have all the ones that still fit me from growing up and um, I'm excited to knit my own this year which I was planning on waiting till end of September or October to get the yarn for these and to knit them but now I'm kind of thinking as I'm talking about this Maybe I should get the yarn for those at the end of August or beginning of September and knit them then and then I can wear them come October. I think that is what I'll have to do. But yeah, that is everything that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy that I'm able to just talk about my knitting and let me know what you are currently working on or what your favorite thing is that you've made so far this year. Thanks so much.